Welcome to Petro Proficient. Growing concerns about climate change are intensifying interest in advanced technologies. High on the list is carbon capture, utilization and storage. Famously known as CCUS. But the industry has a problem to solve before CCUS can be implemented at scale. This video discusses the key challenges associated with carbon capture utilization and storage. The changing climate is causing considerable social unrest and interest in advanced technologies to reduce emissions in hard-to-abate sectors, such as cement, steel, power generation, and transportation. High on the list of technologies is carbon capture, utilization and storage. Also known as CCUS, or CCS. CCUS is a family of technologies that does exactly what it says. Capture CO2 and use it in an industrial process, or store it permanently, thus preventing its release into the atmosphere. With the growing popularity of this technology, CCUS has become a buzzword and a number of industry professionals and climate activists have started advocating the use of this technology. The oil and gas industry has the experience of transporting and injecting CO2 in the depleted oil and gas reservoirs. The process is called Enhanced Oil Recovery, or EOR. CCUS industry can benefit from oil and gas industry's EOR experience. However, there is one fundamental difference between EOR and CCUS. This is to do with the type of CO2 used in both the processes. The industrial CO2 stream has several impurities. Let's look at the composition of CO2 stream used in enhanced oil recovery process in the United States. The CO2 stream mainly comprises of CO2, 92-95%, methane, 0.2-9%, nitrogen, 0.2-4%, H2S, 0.002-0.09%. The stream has very small percent of water and oxygen. The CO2 used in enhanced oil recovery has to be of uniform specifications with minimal impurities. This is to minimize damage and contamination of reservoir fluids. The CO2 streams with minimal impurities and controlled conditions will bring very few operational issues. In a typical CCUS project, the CO2 output of many industries like fertilizer, cement, steel, refining and power generation would be transported to a collection hub. The CO2 stream from different processes will have varying impurities and concentration. Here is an example of CCUS hub. The hub will transport CO2 from several industrial processes. The impurities will depend on several factors associated with the emitting industry. The raw material, fuel, combustion process and capture technology used will mainly influence the impurities emitted by the industry along with CO2. CO2 along with impurities such as sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxide have not been transported and injected in the oil and gas reservoirs. Their impact on the pipeline infrastructure and injector wells 
casing, and tubing is still under research. Removing impurities from the CO2 before it is transported impacts the cost and overall economics of the project. So, what are the effects of impurities on any CCUS project? Understanding the effect of impurities on the operations is very important. Impurities can be categorized in three types. Impurities that have tendency to precipitate water, thus promoting corrosion. Impurities that react with each other to form a corrosive mixture. And, impurities for which impact is not known yet.